Hey guys, it's Sophia with Kamikaze Kiwi, and let's take five to talk about our favorite movies. Now, one of my all-time favorite movies, for a multitude of kind of strange reasons, is Lucky Number Slevin. Now, whenever this movie came out, I don't remember it, like, being that big of a deal. Um, it is, mind you, like 11 years old from now. Um, it came out in 2006, and honestly, the reviews for it weren't that great and still aren't, which is really surprising to me. Now, I am going to put a disclaimer right now. Uh, my favorite movies don't mean that they're good movies. In fact, they're probably not good movies if they're my favorite movie. Uh, the thing that I have, the reason why things are my favorites is usually either because A, they are terribly edited, they're super goofy, really weird, um, or they have some sort of stylistic thing that I really, really, really love, and that is where Lucky Number 11 comes in. So I'm going to kind of give you a brief uh, summary of it. I am not going to ruin anything. Um, if you haven't seen it and you like crime, mystery things, and you're more into a movie for the style of it than necessarily all of its substance, I would definitely suggest that you go see this movie. So, Lucky Number 11 is about a guy whose girlfriend cheats on him because, of course, you know, film trope one, um, so that he has to go do something with his life. He decides to go hang out with his best friend on the way to hanging out with his best friend. He's mugged. He finds out his best friend is not actually there, and he is then mistaken as his best friend, who in turn is involved with some mobster mix-ups. Um, amongst all this, a uh, hired killer comes back uh, and is hired to kill somebody, and in order for uh, Slevin to kind of pay off his debt, that is actually his best friend's debt, he's supposed to kill this guy instead, and that will just clear up everything with all the mobsters. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I adore this movie mostly for its wallpaper. I'm not joking. Take a minute. If you've seen this film, rewatch it. If you're watching it for the first time, rewatch it. Because there is so much that is told to you by the colors and the designs of the wallpaper. Now, this is the reason why I love movies like this. I love those weird, you know, cinematography details. Characters are fairly interchangeable for me. I, I'm there. I don't particularly love or hate any actor or actress. Um, as far as like celebrities go, I don't really care about celebrities. I don't care about celebrity news. I'm not attached to anyone. Um, there isn't anyone that I purposely go to the theater just to see unless it's Chris Evans as Captain America, but that's a whole different thing. Um, but even though that's kind of because it's like a nerd movie, so there was nothing that attracted me to this movie. I don't care about Josh Hartnett at all. Um, Lucy Lou doesn't necessarily do anything for me. Bruce Willis is in here. That's great. Morgan Freeman. Okay. Um, like it, it just doesn't, there's nothing there. But the dialogue is purposely too clever. The dialogue is purposely too well said, especially in a situation where you would definitely fub up. Um, the neighbor is too perky and too smart. The whole plot is purposely overly convoluted. And yeah, there's a twist ending, but it's not anything that is so unheard of. But all of it together makes this monstrous, overwhelming, dark experience. The first words in the movie are curse words, but in a way that is not just gratuitous, necessarily like, um, I'm going to say like a Quentin Tarantino film or anything like that, but they're just, they're laughable almost. And there's something about it that is just so utterly person trying to be charming and is too clever but also not very clever and is yet somehow brushed with this beautiful broad uh, paintbrush that just makes everything better that I love about this movie. Um, there, There is also something to be said about the delivery. Everyone does a great job. There's a lot of things in there that will make you laugh later, but you're not necessarily 
supposed to laugh out loud. There are things about this movie that um, critics have called, you know, dizzying visuals, too clever for its own good, very predictable, every single idea of what a film noir should be and basic crime drama, but, you know, but with all that, I actually really love this movie because it knows all that and it kind of works with all those tropes. And uh, I think it gets a worse rap than it really should, and time is up. So thank you so much uh, for watching. Tell me what your favorite movie is. If you've seen Lucky Number 11, tell me if you love it, hate it, indifferent. And, um, of course, I will have something somewhere that shows other things that I do. I hope that you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next Friday.